Well, hey guys, good morning. I am up and I'm wearing my uh, Vineyard Vine sweater today with my, um, you guys were asking about these earrings, some of the new folks. I got these a while back at um, Kendra Scott, but I can't find them on the Amazonian and I can't find them on the website anymore. So it was a gift set, but um, I just whipped up my cauliflower oats and I'm doing the La Canado, uh drinking chocolate version yet again with uh, the homemade cashew milk, and I also sweetened the cauliflower oats with these sweet leaf coconut drops, so it's sort of a chocolate coconut. And then on top, I sprinkled some of the coconut powder, I put some cashews, and a little dusting of the Lacanado drinking chocolate, so I'm loving that. And I have my biotin here for my hair. And beauty dust in my um, Christmas is every day kind of mug. Um, and then I've got my natural calm healer here. Yeah, so I'm gonna have that and then I'm gonna get buzz on over to clinic. Okay, so it's the noon hour. I'm on my lunch break and I um, am doing my spicy tofu again on a, a bed of spinach with uh, half a zucchini and some red bell pepper and almonds and nutritional yeast. And my apple here. And my supplemental salad. And saltine. So. That is what's going on. Oh, some of you guys were asking about these meal prep containers. So far, I really like them. They don't leak. And, but. I'm neurotic anyway, so I've been keeping them in, I've been taking it in this little bag that came with my Vitacost haul. I think, like, my Vitacost uses these bags to, like, kind of package up your stuff, so I just repurpose it as a raincoat, I guess. <laughs> but, yeah, I got my placemat, too. So, being snazzy. Well, hey, guys. Clinic day is done, and I just scooted across the parking lot with my coolie bar hat on here and reapplying with Elta MD UV Sport before heading out. Oh yeah, some of, so some of you guys were asking me if I um, if I wash my face before I reapply my sunscreen. No, I don't do that. Um, but you know I don't wear much makeup, so that's probably why. I, there's no need to wash your face before putting the sunscreen on, honestly. Um, it's not going to clog your pores or whatever. And uh, I do wash my hands, however. Um, I just wash my hands. I mean, I wash my hands a lot because of work, obviously. Um, but if I'm at home and I reapply, I usually wash my hands beforehand in case I've been cooking or something. Um, but yeah, you don't need to wash your face before you reapply sunscreen. And uh, sunscreen comes off fairly easily with uh, just a gentle cleanser, so you sh shouldn't need to go scrubbing to get it off. But anyways, I am going to buzz on out. Hey guys, so I decided to come to Marshall's. We'll take a look around Marshall's Home Goods. They have all the summer stuff. They're starting to put all the summer stuff out. How cute. So I'm guessing the Instagram swan was like so last year and we're moving on to another, exploit another inflatable animal this season. Maybe it'll be an inflatable rat. <laughs> it's cute. <laughs> Don't stress me out. <laughs> Oh, I like that one. Always feel like you stand tall, wear a crown, and are super sweet. I love that. <coughs> I have to remember that saying. It'd be cute to DIY that onto something. I definitely don't need a notebook, though. <laughs> these are cute, but you could totally get these at the Dollar Tree. I feel like I've seen on YouTube you can get these at the something like this on the dollar at the Dollar Tree. And then the YouTubers always like spray paint them a normal color because the Dollar Tree ones are like always an ugly color. It's like 25 bucks for two of them here, but I bet you could get two of them for a dollar at the Dollar Tree and then just spray paint them. She's a Houstonian, you know. I basically came over here because I want some uh, inspiration for some way to organize my bathroom drawer with all of my... Um, skincare products are kind of rolling around waywardly. 
These little acrylic things are just so restrictive because it's like they only fit certain things and then you're stuck. God, is this one of those awful pore magnifying mirrors that that Biore makes to sell more pore strips? <laughs> The lineup in heart the lineup in Home Goods Marshalls was mm, so so. They had good stuff, but the price was just over the top for what it was. But I'm gonna try TJ Mac. Oh, speak of the devil. <laughs> it's poor strips. Botanical choice. These do remove these do remove uh, blackheads, but it's only transient. And if anything, it causes irritation afterwards. <laughs> at this cute red wine in a denosine mask. I can not think of any reason why that would be helpful, but this little this little woman on the front is cracking me up. How cute is she? I almost want to buy this and put this thing on my face just because of her. I wonder if you, I wonder if you look like that. She's so cute. I need another essential oil spray, but I did not have good luck with this organic botanic before. I'm just gonna stick with the Oracacia ones, they're so good. Oh yeah, you guys are always asking me about spritzing rose water on your face. Honestly, it's not like anything in any medical journal, FYI, so. This one's got aloe in it though. Aloe's about the only thing that I feel good about saying. Witch hazel is generally a benign astringent. I guess this might be okay. Just all these botanic things. I bet this is hydrating because it has dimethicone in it. The cucumber water is nice too. Oh look y'all, it's a rose hip one. You guys are always jazzed about, you guys are always hip on rose hip. <laughs> Here's a micellar rose hip. I still have to find the jam. I guess I'll have to order that from in the Amazonian. I'm more enthused about eating it. Gentle foaming facial cleanser. Our promise. Oh, here's the Andalou Naturals fruit stem cells. Oh god, I'll begin with the stem cells and the rose hip. Hip to the rose hip. I need a wrapper to come up with a rose hip wrap. What does Dr. Brandt's brightening eye cream have in it? Dr. Brandt is unfortunately no longer with us. I actually met him several times. He's a very nice man. It's unfortunate he passed. It has licorice in it, guys. Licorice and soy. I bet this does brighten. He was smart to make a cream with that in it. This stuff is really expensive, though. Okay, I'm just gonna take a moment to say I detest toner. And when I was a teenager, I was on this three-step thing, and I can tell you right now, it's kind of useless. Oh, but they made the bar soap into a liquid soap. I mean, like, the clarifying lotion. Honestly, that's just, like, alcoholy water. It's a complete rip-off. Someone wanted me to try Pacifica, but they didn't specify what they wanted me to try in Pacifica. It was this it? Love is more than skin deep. That's true. Except I'm not microdermabrating anything. So neither Home Goods nor TJ Maxx have makers of wax goods. They do that. They get one in that I like and they take it away. But have you guys ever tried this this company Constellation? Um, this is a soy candle which I like because um, I think they burn a little cleaner. And I'm liking this pineapple and cilantro one and cilantro one and. Much to my surprise, I thought this would be horrific, but it's actually quite nice. The peach daiquiri, I like it. It actually, it smells like actual peaches and not like fake peach. Slowly into the surrounding blackness, I moved quickly up to the top of the Tower of Bodies, anchoring myself to that final man. I lucked out in TJ Maxx and I got what I basically, one of the things that I've been looking for, dish rags. Um, gourmet classics. Um, I got them for two dollars. They charge you as much for water at the hospital cafeteria as they do for a uh, soda, uh, uh, fountain soda. Can you believe that? Like I've said before, it's like they're trying to keep you in there, just fueling diabetes or something. Um, but 
I guess they have to keep the lights on somehow. Anyways, I'm on my way home and uh, then I'm gonna go to the gym. Well, hey guys, I uh, went to the gym and took a shower and now I'm just coming in with CeraVe. It's Wednesday night and I have Carol Hockman on. Guys, today was a stellar day for me. Clinic was phenomenal. Um, one of the things that's most gratifying, I think, about what I get to do and seeing patients that I wanted to share with you all is when you get, when you get to see um, patients back and they're getting better um, and you see the smile on their face and you see their personality, the joy start to come out. And, and dermatology, maybe medicine in general, um, tends to follow kind of almost a, a rule of thirds. A third, about a third of conditions improve and go away on their own with absolutely uh, no intervention on anyone's part. Um, and a third of things uh, we can uh, get rid of with a little help from our treatment friends. And then there are a third of things that require active, ongoing evaluation and management. Evaluation of, of how the skin condition is doing, um, how the skin condition is responding to treatment, management of the treatment and its side effects, but also management of, of your, of the patient's expectations and, 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 and that sort of thing. Difficult on behalf of, um, on behalf of, of, of the patient or the individual plagued with the with the um, with the skin condition is really in the fleeting 15 minutes to that we're allotted just um, in that amount of time really an individual's ability to continue to process new information really really stop short once uh, you know you get to something like naming what the condition is and that it's going to be a chronic skin condition. Really, the capacity of the human brain at that point, within a given 15 minute visit, is really exceeded. I mean, it, it has nothing to do with an individual's intellect or education or anything like that. Um, you give somebody a diagnosis and, and, and label it chronic, um, really people have to, have to process that. Um, and so I feel like there is a space of time there where everything, it's like a vacuum, like, in, in a dream state where anything that we're saying and where anything that comes out of my mouth subsequently has to just be like wah, 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 like the Charlie Brown woman because um, that's really a lot to ask of the human brain regardless of, of anything. There, you know, there are fears and, and, and other factors that come into play. It's scary coming to doctor's offices, period. Um, they're not pleasant places. The fact that you, you know, may not be aware that you're going to have to get naked and exposed for this new individual to look at you and then they tell you that you have a skin condition that's going to be chronic. I mean, it's a lot. It's really a lot. Um, you know, if, if you take anything from, from watching this, it's that if you're feeling defeated by, by medicine and by, by that visit, you know, you're not alone. That, that's what I want to that's what I want to leave you with. If you're suffering from a chronic skin condition like acne or eczema or seborrheic dermatitis or any number of things, you are not alone. And I think what becomes even more challenging in this day and age in the practice of, of healthcare is the breadth of unregulated, easily accessible information and the lack of policing of that information for accuracy and content. So I just wanted to leave you guys with that um, as a part of my day and, and maybe share with you my perspective in terms of what I, how, how my day goes. And I'm, I'm going to go and fire up a Kavita and get to work here on the hump night. So I hope you enjoyed the video today. It was fun. Uh, give this video a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. And as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.